Hello and welcome to another episode of Push-Ups and Cool Music. This episode will be a long episode, so for anyone who would watch this, I would practically say it's a waste of time, but so is every episode, because it's just me, a regular man trying to get in shape, logging his progress. But there is a useful way to use those videos. Follow along, do the push-ups I do, and feel what I feel. <laughs> or... Uh, Make use of my quotes or just start looking up stoic and zen quotes yourself. Uh, this episode will be extra long because I will do as many push-ups as I possibly can throughout the course of uh, Beethoven's Seventh Symphony. I decided on that because it's catchier and more upbeat than Tchaikovsky's Sixth. Tchaikovsky's Sixth is just like how people thought, kind of mournful, very, very slow, sad, sentimental, mysterious, and then it just ramps up the level up to 11, like becomes like epic, like so heavy that you can even headbang to it. So... Tchaikovsky's Sixth Symphony is epic, but for a workout, I think Beethoven's Seventh is better. <sighs> Considering that it's catchier and a bit more upbeat in general, but it does have its heavy, melancholic-like moments, because he wrote this as he was battling for custody for his nephew, Karl van Beethoven. Uh, which is speculated to actually be his son, that uh, his sister-in-law actually had an affair with him before she settled with his brother, Karl van Beethoven. So, Johanna van Beethoven might possibly be Beethoven's immortal beloved, and Karl van Beethoven might be his son, but he's, he battled for custody of Karl. Because he wanted what was best for him and he thought Johanna was a woman of low moral character. Anyway, I, I just recommend the movie, Immortal Beloved. Watch it. So, <clears throat> I need a quote of the day to truly start things off with the right mindset as well. There is a quote by Dalai Lama called that goes... Do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. Man, if I only known that earlier, I would have avoided so many battles I didn't have to fight. Like, when I was younger, like even actual physical battles. But at the same time, it's like, you never go to the level of whoever does the wrong. Because you might turn out to be the bad guy in the end. And that has happened to me more than once. That someone was behaving unjustly towards me or, or to someone else. And my intentions were initially good. But then I realized what kind of toxic human being I have become because of this corruption. So do not ever let the corruption of others corrupt you. Always behave with the same rational common sense you have, even when people you think you trust behaves in a way that is not right. Or don't even justify revenge, no matter how bad the act of someone else is. Like even a violent act, you don't counter it with more violence you counter it with protecting the person that matters to you that has been subjected to that violence from any more violence so you never let any conflict escalate never escalate the conflict be the one who diffuses it who calms the conflict so yes do not let the behavior of others disturb your inner peace so, and that is leading by good example. 
I can behave like a good man, no matter how others behave. I don't justify bad behavior by other people being bad. So never fall into that trap and I'll be fine for the rest of my life. Despite what fortunes or misfortunes beyond my control might befall me. So, anyway, uh, it's time to get ready for more uh, action and less words in the form of uh, push-ups and cool music, in the form of Beethoven's Seventh Symphony, and as many push-ups as I can from me, and I'm gonna write it down on a piece of paper, every set I do, because I don't know how much I'll be capable of performing today. <laughs> So instead of using the computer today, I use the phone because I realized it has better sound and audio quality than my laptop. So basically my phone is possibly better than my outdated laptop. So let's put on Beethoven 7 and start doing push-ups. Now I encourage anyone watching to follow along. <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 no, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 
66. another quote by Dalai Lama that says the true hero is one who conquers his own anger and hatred <sighs> my anger and hatred has been my frustration with the outside world that I've been so in insignificant and so <sighs> I've been an underdog for my entire life and it's kind of been hard to fight it <sighs> and I've been bullied and I've had a very hard time existing in this world being misunderstood and basically just being a weird outsider but now through the correct type of thinking I am managing the world I'm becoming more sociable and happier overall also not based on others' opinion of me. I create my own path. <sighs> and my own reasons to be proud of myself. Like doing this push-up challenge. better camera angle. My first set was 70 push-ups. I was about to give up, but I'm like, I have more. So, first 70 is noted. Okay. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 29 30 <sighs> To make my workout more worthwhile uh, No, it doesn't fit the floor. I was going to try the split machine but it will be later. I have like a device that helps. 